Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy LB and welcome back to my new tutorial video. Guys, today in this video, let me show you how to create this cinematic look in Adobe Premiere Pro. Guys, here I'm gonna create this color grading from scratch. For now, there is no light which I will be needed. So now, for you guys, if you will like my lights, my color grading settings, I will be put it in a link down description below so now you can download if you want or if you like my lab okay so now guys this is my footage which i'm going to use for so for here i use canon eos eos Allah and 15 millimeters okay you see it has also s log but this s log it, it is not so much like the one i like to use in uh, lumix s5 the sony camera something like that so and this is canon log this is canon setting log for canon eos other so now i have four clips so in different location okay so you as you know guys if you have many clips you have to create first you have to create an adjustment layer because it's gonna be help you to adjust color grading for whole clips okay so now you have to come here on this new item and then go on adjustment layer press ok and then you have to drag it here on the top of your clip okay this is nice okay so then after this you have to create on this adjustment layer and then i'm going to jump on on color workspace so now you have to go here on window and then you have to make sure if the lumetri color is enabled okay this lumetri color it is one but you have to check it before if you are in color workspace okay so now you have to enable this color workspace you see guys this is rheumetric color settings is the one which i'm going to use okay basic correction creative curves color with hcla and vintage okay so now you have to make sure this adjustment layer is selected first i'm gonna open up this basic correction because i'm going just to start making my my color grading so i will save it as light and if you like it you can download it in the link down description below because uh many people just ask me for <clears throat> the light which I'm, i like to use also but i give them to someone who requests me to give yes to give them so maybe they have been received okay let me use this clip this footage is okay but also i can use this one this is nice so okay and then for here this temperature i can increase like in nine yeah 16 17 like that okay for the saturation i can increase just a few little bit because in order to get the the look of each color maybe if there's a green is a green blue if there's any color yes in order to give the color into life okay so let me just jump to this exposure because my clip the lighting it is balanced guys your exposure it means if you have the more bright color so if i have more bright light in your clip it means you have to to decrease the exposure or increase the exposure okay depend how you have been shooting your clip so now i have to jump here on this contrast i have to increase uh, just a few little bit like to 48 something like that and then for this highlight let me give it just a few there 30 yes this is enough and then let me come back here for this black and i have to give them black like 44 okay yes and then this is before this is after okay so now let me close this basic correction so after closing this basic correction so now and i'm gonna jump here on curve okay so for this curve my light is balanced it is not too bright or my clip it is not it is not has like more shadows or more low light it means so now let me go here on this lid so i just want to increase some a few blur on this shadow okay so i have to choose this red and i have to add some small green here on my clip okay above all on the midi tone maybe this midi tone okay yeah this is nice and then so let me jump here for these who are sat so 
I have to choose this green first because I just want to deduce the saturation of this this green. Okay, so and I have to select where the green is. The reason why I choose this yellow also because you see in my green that is some yellow car color. Okay, so and I have to move down it something like this. Move it down like this, guys. Yeah, this is nice something like this okay guys so now let me jump here for this who versus who this who versus who helps you to change the colors okay so and also let me choose the green the green yes and i have to move it down yeah something like this and move it down like this guys you see guys here there is some other reds which is means here on this tree and also i can take the, there's a few color about on red you see guys when i reduce you see it's gonna be decreased something that yeah, this is this is good so now i have to move it down okay until i will reach on this car you will see guys when i keep moving down the color changes okay so for me i want i want this and you have to make sure it will not be attached on this skin tone okay so yeah this is nice yeah perfect okay so and let me move down here for this hoovers luma and i have to choose green also let me decrease like yeah something like this like say like an exposure yeah. and then i have to increase the red for this skin <clears throat> here for this hover sat okay so i have to add like saturation okay so this is how this hover sat is and then this hover who is yes so let me move up just a few little bit okay something like this yes this is nice and then so let me let me see how it is guys yes you see how my clip is okay this clip yes this is nice this is better so this is before and then this is after so let me jump on here on these color wheels so i have to close these curves and then I open up these color wheels because i'm going to increase that that's a blue on this shadow okay because i just want the cinematic look okay so i have to move this point here for this shadow you see guys when i move on blue you see i got some blue when i move on red i got some this color and the green also it's the same so and i have to move down here on the blue just a few little bit okay and yeah, this is nice for this highlight i can move up in the red you see guys something like this and yeah, this is looks nice okay so uh, when you pray guys you see how my clip it is yeah this is nice the lighting is so balanced there is too, there is not too bright all that is not more shadows okay this this image is so balanced as well as possible so now so i have to remove something like this which is on my clip so now i have to back here on curve and you have to make sure it is in hoover so okay so i have to move something like this yes move it I have to remove it yes you see guys it is disappeared yeah this is nice so when you check for all clip you see guys it is disappeared okay yeah this is this is nice okay so and guys i'm gonna make about so let me add like more bracket here for this contrast i have to open up these curves okay and then i have to increase black like this okay you see guys in order to give your image to, into life okay yeah this is nice even for whole clips you have to make sure for whole clips maybe because as i told you i'm using this one adjustment layer okay so now 
and let me go for this skin tone guys my skin tone you see how my skin tone is it has it is too red but before i make this skin tone and you have to come back here for these curves okay and then you go here for this hover sluma let me click here on this skin tone and they have to move it up this way just to give enough light okay so for example when you want to give them saturation when you increase this hover sluma when after you give them saturation it will not be saturated like someone who who have been painted the oil on the on, on the skin tone okay so now let me close this curve and then let me jump here for this hcla secondary okay and then you have to choose red as always for this skin tone and you have to enable this color gray you see how my skin tone it is first i have to increase this brightness okay you see something like this and i have to move it up okay and give them the light yes and then this, this is too much like you can reduce you see guys when you move it up it brings more light so i have to move it down just like this and then let me give them saturation and then also you can come here for this temperature you give like you see guys when i give this color you see what happened okay even saturation and sharpen okay you have to make sure your skin tone is looking good okay <clears throat> You see guys this is nice okay maybe you see guys for this clip it has too bright bright okay so you know guys here it is in the different location so the things you have to do when this clip it is more bright and then for this other one it has the balanced light the things you have to do you have to cut your adjustment layer okay in this way okay then you cut this adjustment layer and then you select it and then you go there for this basic correction and you try to reduce the highlight okay you see something like this and then exposure something like this okay in order to be all clip be balanced yes that's how you have to do it guys maybe this is enough okay and even for this hcl secondary if it is too more in your clip or maybe you can use my light and then you see your hcl secondary it is too bright so and you have to balance your hcl so now you have to open up okay and then you have to move down when it is too bright okay so when if you want to add more just you keep moving up you see guys what i receive and then we, when it is too more saturated you have to move down in this way guys okay so maybe this is nice so this is after okay and then this is before and then this is after guys so guys as i told you if you like my light i have to put it you have to check it in the link description down below you can download it and then use it into your clip okay so guys thanks for watching and like my video subscribe and drop the comment down below let me know what you think I'll see you in next video Peace.